No, the no. fat Phillips. No, but we don't want to go that fast. No, I have to set up my wakeboard too. Oh. Where's that Hardy? Oh, uh, yeah. Right. You got a fat Philly? That's rude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff, can you Mitchell, grab a fat Mitchell's Phillips? That's my buddy Mitchell. It's my new sponsor. I'm sponsored by Mitchell's Meats. <laughs> And I'm very excited. I was vegan, but now I'm not. Hey, but this is really exciting because I'm setting up a foil for Rusty. Rusty. Yes. Are you excited? Okay, I'm jumping ahead. We're actually getting ready to wakeboard first, but we're getting this ready for after wakeboarding. What are we wakeboarding behind? Do you know? I don't know. I know that you have a different boat from the Paragon. Um, what is it? The G. Uh, Super Aeronautique. The 2024 Super Aeronautique GS22. GS22. Yeah. That's what we're riding behind today. It's awesome for water skiing. We had Charlie Ross come over, cutting pretty aggressive, way more aggressively on a slalom ski than I even thought he would go. Then I put on combo skis because I like to do that. That's fun. <music> then we also surfed behind it, we full behind it. And I wakeboarded with zero ballast, took Cole out yesterday. He learned to flip, first time riding boat. He's ridden cable years ago, landed a flip. What we haven't done is we have not ridden with the GS22 fully weighted. So it has its stock ballast and you can get the supplemental ballast, which gives you a grand total of. Decided to come check it out. We're gonna fill it, max it out with a full ballast and a couple of people in it. And I'm gonna go mess around behind that. And then we're gonna do some foiling and um, yeah. Here in the GS22, the bow of the GS22, we have six cup holders as yeah, well as not to that around here, so you can safely go to I and did. from the dock. That was this cup is, holders. This was is noticeable. the bow filler cushion. It's a great mm -hmm. way to complete the lounge, and we have storage underneath both port and starboard underdress. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's cool. <laughs> hey, what do you think of riding behind this thing, fully weighted? The size of this wake, plenty capable to like for a very advanced wakeboarding behind this boat. Like the double ups were insanely big clean easy to get into i had i had a blast if i wouldn't have been freezing cold i would have probably hit double ups for another hour seven off the dub <coughs> that, that, felt, was that felt good oh you, was you that? know it, it was feels a cab, good when it looks that good cab seven i haven't Last i don't i don't do those often i mean i did years ago but um i don't know i hit, jeff drove me a sick dub and i did like a three or something yeah earlier and i was like i'm gonna try cab seven and then you said seven, I, I'm like, what seven <laughs> are you talking about? The, Jeff, how fast were we going? 22.4 and your rope, it was at 72 feet? No, 75. No, we put, halved it in. No, but that that half is 77. 77. So 75. Wow. But the wake at that speed felt perfect. And that that's high level riding. Like I, I've that. been having an awesome time out on this boat because we've skied behind it, barefoot, mm -hmm. foiled. I got down to 16.5 wakeboarding well, and with a clean wake. What I noticed too is like, I screwed up and dropped the handle and I still wanted a double up and Jeff was able to get the boat up to speed in like a second and still give me a double up with uh, I normally you need like a ton of time, get everything set up. 
but the boat was like up on plane in a second and I was still able to get a double up in the calm corner. So back in the day when we used to put a ton of weight in the boats, it used to take forever to get on, on speed. But I don't know, just a smaller, I mean, it's not even that small of a boat, really. It's 22 feet. Look at it, we're in the, we're in the bow of this. But um, I mean, for stock with three, a driver and two people in the boat, I mean, you could, you could ride this thing all day long and, and progress your wakeboarding to a super high level, no question. I wish I made this thing with the telescoping tower because this is the boat that I would get, honestly. Because I've got my touchless cover, I want to go underneath there. Is that kind of being spoiled a little bit? I'm okay with that. I had, I had a great time, aside from it getting a little bit windy and kind of still a little bit chilly. I am a wimp now, but I mean, you used to it be is Canadian. It is kind of cold, right? It's very yeah. cold. I really want to foil while you're here. Yeah, we'll foil. Um, so we'll that's foil. exciting. That go. That's another video. If How you, to make your friends look stupid? Get them to foil for one the first time. It's not. That's not it. It's <laughs> no. not it. It's, I know. <laughs> it's a humbling experience. All the guys that are good at foil, they make it look so easy. Here's the thing. This I'm, is crazy. No, I'm going to I'm gonna explain to you how it is different than you thought. The yep. faster we go, when you get up to like 11.6, the water is so tight and dense, not up to 11. If you do that, dude, it's so scary. We're going to start you on a 75-foot line. Yeah, and everybody hammers it. And so what you feel is this thing launching you off. Mm. You're not doing that. Wait. I'm excited because we're going foiling, and Rusty's going to learn to foil. He's on a Hyperlite Magic Carpet. The big one. Yes. The bigger one. I ride the smaller one. Ah. We'll get you warm. I got that Hyperlite blanket. You get under that with the heater hose. What about the hot tub real quick? It's not on. How long I'll does that turn, take? I'll turn it on. I'll turn it on. I don't even know if we're going to have time to get in it. What do you mean? 